What's up? Here we are, Southern Utah. It is September 22, 2023. And what is it, like 8 o'clock? But the sun is setting, and look how beautiful magenta, you know. The deep, deep, bold pink. I don't know what color you call it, but it's beautiful. Alright, como esta? What's up? Here we are at, uh, ooh, I'm just going to jump in. We're getting ready to do a city tour, St. George, Utah, Southern Utah. It is September 23rd, uh, about 4.30, 2023. Shout out to everybody from the Philippines. Um, it's been a while. You know, last time I did a city tour was in the Philippines, back in the Longapo, Barrio Barreto. Well, here we are in southern Utah. We're going to do a city tour of St. George, southern Utah. And, um, yeah, so some of the, I, 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 before I go outside, I figure I'd do this inside. Just give a little intro, some of the history. Um, you know, before we go on the tour, who knows, we're going to have to, you know. And, yeah, so southern Utah, St. George is established 1861. By Mormon pioneers traveling west, uh, George A. Smith, LDS Apostle. And uh, there's a legend about St. George in, in literature. It's a soldier venerated in Christianity that defeats a dragon. Uh, the story goes that the dragon originally extorted uh, tribute from villagers. And when they ran out of livestock and trinkets for the dragon, they started giving up a human tribute or sacrifice once a year. Uh, this was acceptable to the villagers until a princess was chosen as the next offering. The saint thereupon rescues the princess and kills the dragon. The narrative was first set in Cappadocia in the earliest sources of the 11th and 12th century, um, but transferred to Libya in the 13th century. Golden legend. All right, so at first limited to the courtly setting of chivalric romance, the legend was popularized in the 13th century and became a favorite literary and pict pictorial subject in the late Middle Ages and Renaissance, and has become an integral, integral part of Christian tradition relating to St. George in the both Eastern and Western traditions. All right, so, you know, if, if, you, if you've been to St. George, if you heard about it, um, they call it Dixie, you know, there's a big D on the mountain. For Dixie, and I won't go into. I'm not going to get into a rant or you know, the controversial history at the moment. But um, yeah, I mean it's making reference to a cotton mission during the Civil War where they got the name Dixie from being from the South. Um, you know, and, and Dixie came from you know it's controversial due to the South and slavery. Um, from Dixie, you know, they changed the name in the university or the college here to a, a university, but it went from Dixie State to Utah Tech University. Um, Zion, you know, the irony here, you know, with the Word of Wisdom, Mormon doctrine, you know, teaching, you know, prohibiting, you know, even drinking coffee, or it should be caffeine, you know, and, and alcohol um, and all that. But the irony is, you know, they have the, um, uh, a brewer, brewery, you know, I mean, they have a Brigham Young, the home here, and then they have a brewer, you know, can't even say it, brewery, <laughs> brewery, where they brewed, you know, beer. Um, 
and uh, wine and all that, you know, as far as alcohol and liquor and all that. So it has a little, you know, ironic history um, early on, you know, the pioneers when they were brewing alcohol. Um, you can visit that, you, you know, there's things. If I, this isn't going to be a tour f focused on Mormonism or Mormon history. Maybe, you know, that would be a good good subject to do, topic for next time. And, uh yeah, but for now, yeah, you know, but I'll tell you, know, but it's part of the history. So Zion, there's Zion, Zion um, National, Zion National Park. That name, also being religious, religious uh, denotes paradise. You know, Zion, the new, new pro uh, promised land, paradise, heaven on earth, all that kind of stuff. Um, we are in the Wild West, you know, cowboys and Indians, and, you know, it's more proper to say Native Americans. Um, you know, I mean, throughout American history, the natives, everybody's migrated here, immigrated, whatever you want to call it. You know, another irony is from from all over the world, you know what I mean, really, you know, but from Europe. And so, I mean, nobody in that sense is American. There's not, you know, I mean, true American, you know, it'd be a Native Americans. Um, but we are in that kind of land and in the Wild West, uh, Native American sacred land. And a lot of these national parks, I mean, these are like, you know, symbolic of, of of sacred lands to the Native Americans. Um, I would think as well for anybody. That's a whole other topic. All right, so Southern, yeah, I try not to get into the, the religious and political. Oh, man, Southern Utah borders, um, borders on Arizona and Nevada. So we're about two hours from Las Vegas. Shout out to all my people in Las Vegas and... Um, yeah, so I'm back. I was in the Philippines last five years, and back here in America, a lot's changed, so I figured I'd try to do an update. I'm going to have to follow up with another update and another tour, city tour of here, um, and Salt Lake and Las Vegas and, you know, just everything to try to get get that done and, and just do some tours. Um, but yeah, it's beautiful red rock scenery here and black lava rock from the volcanoes. Um, right now, you know, I'm very limited. You know, when I was in the Philippines, I had an electric uh, trike, tricycle, three-wheel, kind of, uh, I don't know what you want to call it, scooter, bike, well, bike. But here, I'm on a scooter, electric scooter, two-wheel. So I'm a little more limited um, as far as stability. So, you know, I'm trying to use a gimbal, you know, yeah, it takes somebody to actually hold it. So it's going to be, it's on a mount on that bike. It's going to be shaky, so it's hard to stabilize that. And... Um, and being on a two wheel so it'll be a challenge but um let's see what we can do with the gimbal um mounting it on that and uh but i wanted to go slow it's kind of an ideal way of you know as far as transportation doing a tour because it's not too fast like a car you know and and um slow enough to where you can you know capture but walking is a little bit too slow so it's a good medium um in balance but yeah it is going to be a little unstable um all right, so I got to save my energy for that, and yeah, we're going to just, and I'm just touching on, you know, I'll have to add to it and edit later. I'm going to just touch on some of the streets from where I'm at, you know, Valley View, Sunset to Bluff, and then St. George Boulevard, the main boulevard and Main Street, where it's a historic uh, downtown St. George, the historic district. So, um, and I'll name, like, you know, give or take top 10 attractions, you know, there's Town, Town Square Park, Red Hills Desert Garden, Pioneer Park. Uh, t the Temple, Brigham Young Home, Dinosaur Discovery Site, Thunder Junction, Cayente or Tuacon Theater, the Tabernacle, Jacob Hamblin Home, and Red Cliffs National Conservation. Uh, I'll, I'll go through restaurant, you know, uh, it'll take time to kind of do that later. You know, as far as restaurants, bars, reviews, there's not many nightlife club bar type things here. It's more of a uh, retirement community, family-oriented community, but there's a few bars. Um, you know, it's not like w how it was when we were back in Barreto. You know, um, that was like a red light kind of district. You know, a lot of a lot of, a lot of bars, bar scene. You know, but obviously the beach and resorts, and you know that was nice, kind of all together. So it's a different kind of vibe, different culture. You know, without get into, I'll have to lay out. You know, get into the culture thing. You know what I mean? As far as here, rednecks you know, different distinction between rednecks and hillbillies and, and, you know, I mean, we're, but we're in the, you know, I mean, it's a city, but I mean, we're in a, you know, more land, open country, 
Um, so I don't mean to say that derogatory, but you know, it does have a derogatory connotation as far as redneck and all that culturally. But there, you know, but there's a good way and a good sense to use it. You know, I love my friends, my you know favorite friends. I love them. Rednecks, you know, I got. I mean, I'm, I can't deny. I probably got some. I've got to have some redneck in me. You know what I mean? Growing up in Utah, it is what it is, and, and um, so that's all good. But yeah, just you know, there's some uh, expressions and culture things that are that are unique, you know, and different here. Um, here we are, you know, on the, on the side of the on the, in U.S. So it's it's a yeah. There's a lot. There's a lot of differences in, in culture and people and all that in places here in the U.S. And I go to U.S. and it's all all the same. There's a lot of ver variety. Um, but yeah, you know, I have to capture like you know here we are, where we're at in southern Utah. Um, but yeah, as far as okay, restaurants, you know, I'll name a few places on the way and bars, live music venues, karaoke. You know, it's a thing here. But there's only a few bars. A few bars. We'll um, we'll capture that. But there, I mean, there's still you know things here to do in that shopping malls, library, museum, theaters, a lot of recreation though, retirement, like I said, golf courses, sand dunes, if you like, you know, ATV trails, hiking, biking, camping, boating, all great stuff. And the most beautiful places, you know, as far as national parks and beautiful places for recreation and nature in the U.S., right here in Southern Utah, there's Zion National Park, Bryce Canyon, Capitol Reef, and we're close, which is in Arizona, but the, um, Grand Canyon. So a lot of beautiful national parks, uh, nature, recreation, beautiful state parks as well, Snow Canyon, San Hollow, Quail Lake, Gunlock, Reservoir, it's more like lakes, so there's not beach here like there is California, you know, on the coast, the west coast, there's beaches, you know, crossing the Pacific from California when you go to like Asia or Philippines, and if you're on the Atlantic, on the east coast is the Atlantic Ocean, crossing that. But we're here on the west coast. So in California, they got beaches. Here in Utah, we got a lot of forests, mountains, lakes, you know, lakes and that. You know, it's all good. And uh, I'd say fishing, you know, fishing too, or as camping, boating, fishing, all that good stuff. Um, so, all right, yeah, that's about it as far as introduction. Hmm, longer than I wanted. So that'd be five minutes, around well, 15 minutes. But, um, you know, once I'm going, I got to pay attention to traffic safety first so i don't know how much i can you know deal with the camera and stabilizing things make sure the audio the video is working good and the, you know being safe with the traffic so it'll be hard to kind of cover narrate 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 things I'm, i just need some coffee to wake up but yeah the sun's gonna well it's 4 30 going on five i gotta get back for the sunset sunsets and beautiful sunset last night by the way got a little video of that captured and uh gotta get back before then for dark and uh, get my coffee, got my wine. Oh, welcome, Drunken Panda Vlog, City Tour of St. George, Utah. All right, here we go. Let's just get get started. Mm. And yeah, drink one more last cup of coffee and uh, get ready to go. So let's do it. Okay, como esta? Here we go. Testing. One, two, three, testing the audio. I've got the gimbal mounted on the e-bike here. And uh, shoot, it's gonna be a little hard. It's already, you know, stabilize it, keep it centered. Oh gosh. All right, yeah, this can be a little tricky. But, all right, here we are. Yeah, it's beautiful weather though. It's like, what, between 70 and 75. It, Absolutely beautiful weather, not hot at all, a little cloudy, so yeah, it's a nice day, nice weather. A little cloudy, but I'll show you in a minute, you'll see the nice blue sky, it's pretty clear. So all right, let's do it, let's go. Um, never tried this before, driving this far on the e-bike, so it's a little lengthy tour, but and it's going to be a little difficult driving with the you know, stabilizing the video. But, all right, here we go. Okay, here we go. So much we can get, preserve battery, but yeah, the road, video is not stable. Let's try the sidewalk. Problem with the sidewalk, yeah, it's smooth, but there's a lot of, you know, bumps. 
Oh, jeez. All right, I don't know how I'm gonna do this. Yeah, yeah, it's dangerous trying to drive this thing. Stabilize the gimbal. So, I don't know, I'll have to go slow certain parts. Um, Sorry, be patient with me here for a minute. I don't. Man. Yeah, thought I was more prepared. Boom, boom. All right, well. All right, well, here we are. What time is it? All right, get started over. Here we go again. All right, I'm on my e-bike and using the gimbal mounted on the e-bike. It's a little difficult keeping it stable. So I'm gonna, gonna, gonna go slow here on the sidewalk. And here we are in Valley View. Starting our St. George City tour, we're on Valley View. And I'll probably you know, have to cut here and there because it's going to be too shaky. Oh gosh. And I can't drive on, you know, this is not a three wheel, it's a two wheel, so. Yeah, this is crazy. <laughs> not, a little dangerous trying to. Uh... Not so good. Before, I was on a three wheel, more stable, and had somebody holding the gimbal. You know, on, on a two seat or three wheel. This is. Well, two wheel, one seat e bike, so it's kind of hard to hold the gimbal. So, impossible to hold it in drive. I've got it mounted, but this kind of sucks. And it's oh God, more bumpy on the damn sidewalk. This is ah, shit. Really irritating. The mount is not, it's moving everywhere. Shit. <laughs> Crazy. Hmm. And I gotta pay attention to the traffic. Well, it's not gonna work. So the sidewalk is not going good as you can see. <laughs> and I can't keep, you know, centering it. I have to position it again, stop. So it's a bad thing about the sidewalk. What is going on? What is going on with the gimbal? It's like, it's still recording, yeah. You know, I don't know what's going on with the gimbal. It's just, is it broke or what? This is crazy. Yeah, it's moved by itself.
Okay, so, so much for the gimbal. I'm gonna have to mount it without the gimbal. This is crazy. All right, we'll start the video over. Okay, here we go again. I had to mount this phone without the gimbal. I don't know what was going on with the gimbal, it was acting up, but here we go. So we're just starting the city tour again and I uh, have to edit all these technical difficulties. And again, I don't know, I'll see how it does on the sidewalk. It's really hard to get the video stabilized. So it's gonna be, sorry, it's gonna be a little shaky. And make sure this thing's going. So it's down lower, I can't even see the screen. It's recording. So here we are, we're on Valley View. It's about five o'clock on a Saturday, 5 p.m. And um, yeah, we're on Valley View approaching sunset. So I'm gonna kind of on off, cut it off here and there. And uh, so I can pay attention to it. Pay attention to traffic, then I'll have to edit. All right. And I don't know which is more stable, the sidewalk or the road. There's a lot, there's a lot of bumps on the sidewalk. I tried this before, I thought I was more prepared. I know it's, it's I'm more bumpy on the sidewalk. And I don't know which is more safe. Uh, so certain places, yeah, I'll have to travel more slow. Right now I'm just trying to get to Sunset, it's more of Main Street and uh, go from there. Just kind of testing it right now. So, I might have to try the, try the street. That was fucking bumpy. Shit. But I do gotta think safety first. <laughs> and this, this sidewalk thing, yeah. I don't know, it might be more damn dangerous just, to, oh God. Because all the driveways, you know, it's, it's really unstable for the camera, but even for our safety, it's like, shit. <laughs> oh, God, I got my water, I got my banana for sugar. I shouldn't get dehydrated now because it's not hot. That would have been another problem. So it's a good day. Weather's nice. I'm officially going to start the tour. This is crazy. I'm going to start the tour as soon as I hit sunset. And yeah, I don't know, this road right here on the side is bumpy too. I hope, oh god, I don't know how this is going to work. All right, well, I'm trying, but the road I think is better, more smooth than the sidewalk. Got to watch out for traffic. But this road right here has got these grooves in it. It's really bumpy. So I'm gonna stop the video coming up here. I gotta try to go slow, keep it stable. The whole point of this tour is for video, so. Video purposes, I've gotta go more slow and stabilize it. So I don't know, fuck. All right, starting over the camera, here we go. All right, officially starting now. City Tour St. George. We are approaching off of Valley View and Sunset. We're approaching Sunset. Just check it out here. Sunset Corner, there's Phoenix Plaza. 
But here we got Del Taco, Ash Valley Bank, up ahead is the movie theater. And Starbucks. So I'll try to keep it stable because I gotta be safe with traffic and these roads are bumpy. And the sidewalk is even more bumpy. And I'll try to keep the video stable and go slow. See if I can narrate, name some of the places on the way. Now we're leaving off of Sunset and on to Bluff. Here we're approaching, oh my god. This is my luck today. Anyway, we're approaching Bluff Street. And we are in a bike lane, by the way. So, nice about these streets, they do got bike bike paths, you know, bike, well, bike trails. Really beautiful bike trails, but this bike lane on the, on the street right here on Bluff will be helps. Thank you, City of St. George, for adding this bike lane to keep me more safe. Hopefully it's a little more smooth than the other road because that was pretty bumpy. I'll try to go slow. Car wash. Fabulous Freddy's car wash. I'll try to name the places on the way. Alfredo's. Mexican food, it's pretty good. Of course, since I've been gone to Philippines, came back, you know, food prices, fast food prices have changed. Vape shops, milk shops, there's Pet Castle. We're playing soccer here across the street at the park. Not too bad I can't really pan it. My gimbal, I had to stop using it. I don't know what's going on, wasn't working right. So I'm just, you know, have it mounted here on the e-bike. So I'm not really able to pan. Until, you know, or really focus and zoom in on things. So um, I'll have to mention things, try to narrate and mention things ahead of time as we're approaching so you can see it off to the left, off to the right. Actually, maybe I could focus on the right and then on the way back to the left. I try to do both, subway, you know, subway up to the left. It's a little windy, cloudy. It is nice weather though, it's a nice day. Uh, it's a little windy, I hope it doesn't blow off my hat. Oh, daylight donuts. I love my donuts. I should have worn my other hat. <laughs> oh, it's, the wind is picking up. Feels like it's going to blow my hat off. I don't want to go chasing my hat and get hit by a car. Three Amigos Market. Little grocery market there. I don't know, you know, as far as Filipino food at markets, that's probably about the closest thing you're going to get, you know, Latino market, Blues Cats, Rock and Roll Grill, used to be uh, Jazzy's, Jazzy Java Cafe, but they got like music bands there that play, shout out to Reed at, you know, formerly known as Jazzy Java, but Blues Cats Grill. Name since I've been gone, but that's been, you know, that's been five years, so a lot's changed. Second chance auto, I don't know, I need a car. Ace is still there, Ace Hardware, they got that in the Philippines in the mall. They got a big Ace Hardware here, hardware store on to the left of the corner. And we're approaching St. George Boulevard. I've got a all right, I'll cross, obviously cross the street at the crosswalk here at the light. But we are approaching St. George Boulevard. We're just going to go up and down St. George Boulevard. I have to stop on Main Street, historic downtown St. George, cover some of the places. All right, so far I made it. Oh man, I should go up on that hill overlooking the city. It's tempting. You know what? 
five minutes to do it. Hope it got battery for the camera and the e-bike, my phone and all that. I'm gonna try to go up the hill. This is a nice view overlooking the city if I can make it up the hill. But I gotta conserve the battery power to make it all the way from one end to the other on St. George Boulevard. And this hill gets a little steep. And then back in the day I skateboarded down this hill. That was that was a little fun but dangerous. It's oh man, I don't know if e-bike has enough power to make it up the hill. And you know, there's just traffic, it's not safe. I I need to kind of go back and forth, you know, drive diagonally just to kind of make it up the hill with the battery power. Oh uh, shoot. I definitely can't probably even have the charger on it with me in case this e-bike. Yeah, this ain't probably the smartest thing trying to go up the hill. I don't know if I'll be making it. By the time I get back down, I'm gonna lose all my battery power. Tell me the battery chargers with me. Baby Jane unplugged it. Usually puts it in the bike. I always tell her, you know, keep, especially like like for things like this, keep it with me on the bike. I hope it's in there. No, it's not. And I can't. Oh, shit. Um, it's a little dangerous because I can't even see. I got river mirrors, but the traffic. Oh, but it's a beautiful view, man. I gotta make it. Ah, oh, just why didn't I have the charger? I, you know, I try to be prepared and plan this this tour. I think positive and good. At least I don't got the heat. But look at that. I can't. This is crazy. You know, just have to look at the view. Alright, I gotta keep going. I'll try to step up there and look at it. Pan the camera. I shouldn't have stopped. Take more battery power now and getting it going again. That's uh, a little steep hill. I can't really pan the camera and move it while I'm driving anyways, not safe. So even if I did have it rigged where I can, I still would help, but I'm almost there. I pray I got enough battery power to make it on this tour <laughs> to come back again and do it separate. I miss my good old trike in the Philippines. Electric trike. More stable and somebody can sit with me and hold the camera. And it was pretty good power. All right, here we are. Now they changed a lot. There was an old airport here. And I won't get into whole my whole trauma, but yeah, I was life flighted. Whew, have brings back memories from Arkansas on a helicopter and it almost crashed and it landed here up here on the airport yeah, that has been over 10 years ago but uh, i just have to pan my the steering mm. facing west i'm facing south and here it is Let's see overlooking beautiful beautiful overview St. George in Southern Utah. The city center there, you can see the temple, the tabernacle. But that's where we're headed, is downtown off Main Street. Okay, well, that wasn't too bad, I made it, but I'm gonna, here, I'll get, take the phone off the mountain, try to get a better view. Oh, there's a nice old Volkswagen. Oh, that's what I want right there. Turn it into a camper van. Old school right there. It's nice. And I don't, you know, this is all kind of new to me. Um, hmm. Uh, 
And I guess oh, they got part of um, the college up here is what I, what I heard. I, I haven't been up here for years. Let's stay along the edge of the road here. Get a better view when I'm coming back on the left side. I hope the video, all the, it's recording the audio. I got to worry about the <laughs> my e-bike battery. I got to worry about the phone battery, and I got to worry about the the microphone battery. Uh, keeping charge. So, Cliffside Restaurant, a little hotel, Knowledge Way, and we're on Tech Ridge Drive. I can't change that name because of the college. We talk Tech College here. Yeah, there. Yeah, Dixie Technical College. See all that because I can't. Sorry, I can't pan and move the camera. So, um, yeah, it's all new for me. Dixie Technical College, nice new building. That yeah, looks nice. <clears throat> what is this? Dixie Business Alliance. So this is a little surprise. I didn't plan on coming up here, but I think it's a good I did. Still putting the gut, keeping enough battery to get, make it back because I don't got my charger with me. Um, yeah. All right, well, oh, for the sake of it, I'll just finish the, oh, it looks like there's a, see these roads, they didn't have connecting. I don't know where that road goes. I'll have to come back, it's a little fun, you know, just kind of explore. Because for me, it's it's all new. Um, but there's another road, it used to not connect. Looks like there's, yeah, there's some connecting roads. And I, you know, plan more, I'll just go see that road takes me. See where it takes me. But that's cool, that's nice. Um, yeah, there's not a side here, I gotta be careful, cars coming in, I'm on, shoot. I'm gonna pull over here. Yeah, so I wouldn't recommend at nighttime. I'm on the scooter here, and cars are coming. There's no other bicycle lane here. It's a nice car. You see that? Boom. So yeah, it's a beautiful car. All right. I don't want a flat tire. I'm gonna get the bike on that rock. It's only my luck today. I'm probably gonna get a flat tire before my battery dies. I'll pull over here. And there's enough time too before it gets dark and sun sets. We'll capture the panoramic view of the city. See in front of me, there's a nice bike trail. That's another thing I could have just drove. Yeah, that'd be nice. I don't know how, where all that connects. Um, yeah, look at that, but it's nice, beautiful. Like I said, they got the best bike trails here. And, all right, I gotta just remove, all right, here we go. We're in at 15 minutes since I started. Start from here, facing north. You can see where we were down there on Bluff Street. Beautiful Red Rock Mountains here, Southern Utah. And here is a panoramic view of St. George City. You, you, know, you can drive on the other side there by that mountain. But we are right above on the west side, west side where the D is, <laughs> where the D is. We're right above the D, we're sitting on the D, on the mountain here, for Dixie. A little controversial history about the D. But right forward, you can see obviously is the St. George Mormon Temple. And right now you can actually, I guess they're remodeling it so it's, public, it's pu open to the public to go do a little tour there. I was gonna do that. Um, Troy did it without me. 
Troy. And University, Dixie College, University, or Utah Tech. Up here is the college, down there is more University, I guess you would say. But we're going to try to hit Main Street, downtown. On the other side there, River Road, you know, there's the hospital. But look at this, yeah, it's nice, we're facing east. Nice Red Rock Mountain. Looks like the sun setting, but no, it's just moving over the mountains. Beautiful blue skies. Red Rock Mountain. The skies are blue and clear. It's a little cloudy today and a little windy. But it is nice weather, about 70, 75. And uh, beautiful weather. It's been, you know, it's September here now, but it's just after 5 p.m. and it's been really hot. It's cooling down now, so we're leaving summer, approaching fall. So it's cooling down, it's perfect weather right now. Good time for recreation camping, at least for me. Cause I, whew, even I live here in the desert, I, I can't do good with the heat. But I do like the dry heat a little more than the humid heat in the Philippines. I was, the humidity, I do like it more dry. All right, anyways, enough of that. Um, what else before we move on? I'll take a few photos, but we've got some video here. Got to at least take a couple minutes to see the view. And beautiful bike tra trail. But yeah, here, facing again, facing east. I'm on the west side. Up on the mountain, on the hill, Red Cliffs Restaurant. All right, I'm going to come back and cut the video and come back. Get some photos. Okay, I'm going to do this little quick 4K video. Panning here overlooking St. George City. Up here on the west side of the mountain above the D, but facing, you know, kind of facing north. And just kind of a panoramic view, St. George City in 4K. Facing east, as you can see in the center, St. George Mormon Temple. Guys, good weather today and going that way south. Alright, let's leave it at that and continue our tour.